Hello everyone. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss one more very important combination logic circuit in digital electronics that is multiplexer. So let us first understand the definition of multiplexer. Then we will see how to design a multiplexer. So basically, a multiplexer is a combination logic circuit which has multiple inputs and single output. As we discussed already in the previous session of uh, adders that for the designing of any combination logic circuit we should always have the idea of four things the first thing is block level design second one is truth table third one is logic equation or boolean equation and last one is circuit level design so let us discuss one by one First we will discuss about block level design. So the block level design is basically block diagram representation of any logic circuit or any combination logic circuit. A multiplexer can be designed like this. As you can see a rectangular box is there and this rectangular box has multiple inputs. And we have single output. Let the inputs are I0, I1, I2 up to I n minus 1 and let the output is represented with Y. Now all these inputs take the binary inputs only and these binary inputs can be reflected at the output. Now which binary input will reflect at the output will be decided by some selection lines or some control lines. So we have some multiple number of control lines. Now if we have n number of control lines then the inputs are 2 to the power n so this is called as 2 to the power n is to 1 mux or multiplexer this is sometimes written as 2 to the power n cross 1 multiplexer so we should always remember that if the number of inputs are 2 to the power n then n will be our selection lines and we have 2 to the power n number of inputs and we have single output that is y now let us say i want to design a 2 cross 1 multiplexer then we have two number of inputs one number of output and 2 can be written as 2 to the power 1 so we have one number of selection line. Now similarly, if I want to design a 4 cross 1 multiplexer, then 4 can be written as 2 to the power 2 cross 1. Then we have 4 number of input, 1 number of output, and 2 number of selection lines. So this is how we can analyze a multiplexer. Now the block diagram of a multiplexer can also be drawn as So these are the inputs, let 2 to the power n number of inputs are there and let we have n number of selection lines and this is my output. So this is 2 to the power n cross 1 mux. So this is how we can design a block for a multiplexer. So let us discuss all the multiplexer one by one. So the most basic multiplexer is 2 cross 1 mux. Now we discussed already that for a 2 cross 1 multiplexer the number of inputs will be 2, the number of outputs will be 1 and selection line will be 1. So the block diagram will be like this 2 cross 1 mux. So we have two number of inputs let the inputs are i0, i1 one number of output let the output is y and we have one number of selection line let the selection line is s so this is the block diagram of 2 cross 1 multiplexer now let us draw the truth table
Now for designing a truth table, we will write down the selection line here in the first column. And as my selection line is S, in the second column, I'll write the output. Now basically with one selection line, we can have two number of possible combinations. The first combination is zero. Second one is one. Zero can be written as S complement and one can be written as S. So when the selection line is S complement or zero, then I zero input can be seen at the output. So Y will be I naught. Now when the selection line is 1 or S, then I1 input can be seen at the output. So output will be I1. So this is the truth table for 2 cross 1 multiplexer. Now next we will understand how to write down the Boolean function or Boolean equation for a 2 cross 1 multiplexer. Now the Boolean function can be written as output Y is equal to as my selection line is S complement, my input will be I0 plus if my selection line is S then my input will be I1. So this is the boolean function or logic equation for 2 cross 1 multiplexer. Now for the designing of logic circuit we should always have the idea of this boolean equation. Now as you can see here we have one number of selection line S and the complement of selection line is also available in my equation. So what I will do I will drop a line and this is my selection line S. Now as the complement of selection line S is available, I will connect a NOT gate here. So by connecting a NOT gate, I will be getting S complement. Now as you can see, S complement is ended with I0 and S is ended with I1. So we have basically two AND gates and two AND gates are connected together with the help of an OR gate. So what we will do? we will design two, two input AND gate and both these AND gates are connected together with the help of an OR gate and the output of this OR gate is Y. Now let the output of first AND gate is S complement I0 and let the output of second AND gate is S I1. So the first input of this AND gate will be connected to S0 and the second input will be given to the I0 input. Similarly, the second gate receives the two inputs. The first input is S and the second input will be I1. So this is the circuit level design of my Boolean function or of my 2 cross 1 multiplexer. Now let us take one more example. Let us design a 4 cross 1 multiplexer. Now for a 4 cross 1 multiplexer, the number of inputs will be 4, the number of outputs will be 1 and the number of selection line will be 2. Why because 4 is always equal to 2 to the power 2, so 2 number of selection line will be there. Now let us draw the block level design first. So we will draw a rectangular box. This rectangular box will be having four number of inputs. And let the inputs are I0, I1, I2 and I3. And we have one number of output and the output is let Y. So this is my 4 cross 1 mux. Now this multiplexer will be controlled with the two number of selection line and let the selection lines are S0 and S1. So the block level design is over. Next we will draw the truth table. Now for the designing of truth table we need selection line and the output. So as my selection lines are S0 and S1 and my output is Y. So from S0 and S1, two number of selection lines, the total number of possible combinations will be 4. The combinations are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 
and 1 1. Now when the selection line 0 0 is enabled, I0 input can be seen at the output. So my output will be I0. Now when the selection line is 0 1, I1 input can be seen at the output. So my output is I1. Now when the selection line is 1 0, I2 input can be seen at the output. And finally, when the selection line is 1, 1, I3 input can be seen at the output. So this is my truth table. Now let us write down the Boolean equation. So the Boolean equation is basically the relationship between output, input and selection lines. So Y output will be equal to S0 complement s not complement, S1 complement, I0 because for this selection lines I am having the input I0 plus S0 complement S1 I1. When the selection line is 0 1 my I1 input will be seen at the output S0 S1 complement I2 and finally S0 S1 I3. So this is my boolean equation. So at last we will draw the circuit level design. So for circuit level design we have to see how many number of selection lines are there. So as this particular circuit has two number of selection lines. So we will draw two number of selection lines over here. The first one is S0 and the second one is S1. Now as you can see here the complement of selection line is also available. In this equation. So we will connect NOT gate here and this is my S0 complement and NOT gate here for S1 complement. The next thing we can observe that this is a sum of product equation and in this sum of product equation we have four number of mean terms 1, 2, 3, 4. So if there are four number of mean terms we have to design four number of AND gates. So we will design four number of AND gates. Now next is all the four AND gates are added together by the help of OR gates. So we will connect the output of this AND gate to the input of an OR gate. We can also connect two two input OR gate also here depending on the availability of the logic gate. Now next we can see here all the AND gates has three inputs. So all the AND gates has three inputs. So the first AND gate is provided with the input I0. The second AND gate is provided with the input I1. The third AND gate is provided with the input I2 and the last AND gate is provided with the input I3. Now we need to connect the selection lines only. So let us see how to connect the selection lines. So for the first logic gate you can see S0 complement S1 complement is connected. So we will connect this to S0 complement and S1 complement. The second AND gate is connected to S0 complement S1. So this will be S0 complement S1. Third one is S0 S1 complement. S0 and S1 complement. And the last logic gate has input S0 and S1. S0 and S1. So the output of this logic gate is S0 complement, S1 complement, I0. This one is S0 complement S1 I1. Third one is S0 S1 complement I2. And the last one is S0 S1 I3. And this is my final output. So, this is how we can design a 4 cross 1 multiplexer.
So this is the first part of the multiplexer design. In the next part, we will see how to design a bigger multiplexer by the help of some smaller multiplexer. Thank you.